Okay, so I'm going to show you, give you an overview of the Studio 7 editor. We'll carry on from the basic place where we were at the end of the programming references. Uh, we'll turn on a LED now, but now when a switch is pressed, first we start off polled and then introduce pin change interrupts. And this is our basic context to explore suggestion lists and the ways of using these efficiently. Enhanced list boxes, how to quickly find enumerated parameters, etc. We're going to use visual assist code snippets, um, a refactoring code, extracting functions or methods, introducing variables, contextual renaming and surrounding with regions. But first we're going to learn some basics about reading code. So we have the ultrasonic distance example open and it's great to have a fairly large project and files open to uh, appreciate um, some of the features of reading code. First of all I'm going to enable map mode on the scroll bar and this enables me to kind of view the code as I'm scrolling. The list methods in file, this is very useful for navigating large files. There's another option of doing this as well, and that is Visual Assist Outline. So Visual Assist is basically the Studio Editor. It's a plug-in to Studio, and here we can have the outline view. Of course, everything that I open, I'm going to go from the quick launch bar, and here I can see um, everything that is in this file. The typical thing that we're going to need to do, for instance, in, in main, and we're initializing the system, Alt G, we'll go to a definition, and here we can find um, all the functions again, ADC init, Alt G, and so I'm navigating up and down the levels of the file. So here we are where we finished before and here we from the schematic we have this list of things that we know and that what we're trying to do. Initially we're going to remove all of what we did with the uh, delays um, because now we're using a switch. We know that we need a pull up resistor on port B5 so as before we can just use the port B um, port B and uh, have a look at this in the IO view and in the pin control register that's where we have the pull-up enables that's quite useful to have that as we reference and start writing some code so we want to port B pin control it's pin 5 and it's pull-up enable now what I'm going to actually do is just to show you that I can go P so you can kind of use acronyms as you're using this. Uh, another thing I can go is port control space. Now control space brings up all the options. So now I can kind of scroll up and down here. Um, but what's important is I can go by type. So here I can see that that's an enum or a type def. Um, here I can find the actual enumerated parameters, definitions. If I go back, I can get some more options here. Here I can get global variables, and here I can get all the different structures. So we know that it was port pull-up enable, and we can just use that. So continuing to write some code, um, we're going to use the Visual Assist um, snippets. We can go if else. We can right-click surround with and here's a number of these snippets this is an editable list so you can add if you use some others um, we're going to check that the switch is low okay so uh, this should hopefully work we can run the code and um, now we can see, well, the LED is coming on when we push the switch. So, code itself is not too readable, so I'd kind of have to introduce a comment. But, of course, comments get out of uh, sync with code, and so you kind of want to avoid comments. And so I can extract a method or a function. I can say LED on. And as I create these, I'm just going to create function definitions for them and then move them to the end. then the code becomes more readable and you can see exactly what it's doing, you can see the functions and how they work and then you kind of have a summary 
your code. So what I'm going to do now is extract a function here which sets this, uh, checks the state. So I switch get state and actually you can see that that's a bool so I should actually introduce a variable here so um, now I have a choice I could rename this bool to uint8 or if I leave it as it is I'm going to need to introduce include standard bool as a header file otherwise I will get an, an error when I compile this because it's not a standard C type so this function now is going to be LED set state and we can see that the combination of having these function definitions and the code written in a very clear way so you understand what's happening it, it makes the code more readable without the need for comments so that was with the switch. So I'm just going to move the function down, which is related to the uh, uh, the switch, and all these LED ones together. I can say surround with region and LED functions. And what this means is I can just have this region in my code and then minimize it all. So that's quite useful as well. Another thing that I could do with these LED functions is right click, refactor, move selections to a new file and create an LED.C. Note here that an LED.H is already, which I'll have to just put in main. And then I'll move these function definitions to an LED.H. The pragma here ensures that these are not included more than once. Okay, just just uh, checking on the functionality again, and everything's working as it was. Okay, so now the next step for us is to introduce interrupts. We want to use pin change interrupts here, and I want to go to the user manual, library reference, interrupts. And I can see that the header file is AVR interrupts. Say I must call to enable global interrupts. And I notice that the pattern here, all the interrupt vectors are underscore vect. So we're going to keep that in mind. Before we forget, we're going to enable global interrupts. And I need to now also define which kind of interrupt I want. And if I look at the pin control register, there are these groups of different types of interrupts. If I just open the header file, Alt G on something I know is in the header file, I can open the enum of all these different options. Because if I, for instance, go to the register summary of the ADC, for example, I can see that there's a number of enumerated parameters with these group bits. So max pause, for instance, again in the header file, I could easily find the enum like that, and I can see this one would be for the analog comparator, and here this would be for the ADC. If I wanted to see the window compare enumerator, for example. So that's quite useful to navigate like that. So I have interrupt both edges. I'm going to create the interrupt service routine. It's with something underscore vector, and we know that we are on a port, and we can go underscore vector, and so we find our port B option in this file if you search for interrupt th there's hits all the way through the file if I search for underscore vector you'll find a section of the file where all the interrupt vectors are I need to just read out the interrupt flags and now I should be able to just move my functionality into the ISR Compile, and the one difference you'll notice is that now my LED is on at the start, whereas, um, and that's because before it was immediately getting pulled, but now it's only waiting for a pin change interrupt, and then it works as soon as I start pushing the button.